To access the Power Application Programming Interface, you can start at the Power Home page or within the Data Access Viewer. If you're starting within the Power Home page, you scroll down to the API Landing Pages section of the Power Home page. You click the link and it brings up the Open API Specification Landing Page. This website allows you to quickly and efficiently build web URL requests for the application programming interface. We're going to make an example for the daily temporal level. So in this drop down in the top right, you select the daily. You can expand either single point or regional to select a different access type. In this case, we're going to select single point. So we expand point. We click try it out in the top right. And we're going to enter the start and end dates that we would like for our API requests. I picked the full year of 2022. Next, we're going to type in our latitude, which is 37088. Then our longitude, we're going to do negative 76, 37, 2. We're going to pick our community which we're going to leave it as an agricultural community. We're going to type in our parameter abbreviations. These can be found from the drop down in the Power Home page. We have T2M for temperature, and then we're going to do all sky. Shortwave radiation. Next is we're going to pick our format. We're going to use JSON. So if, because it's the default format, you didn't have to select it from the drop down, but we are anyways. You can type your user. I'm going to put test. You do not have to put anything. I'm going to leave these alone. They're not needed. We can select our time period. We're going to want local solar time. We do have the option of universal coordinated time. You can put a site elevation, wind elevation for some advanced options. You hit execute and the request will be submitted to the API server and it will return the data that quick. So this just shows a preview of the full data request here. You can copy this URL and open up a web browser, paste it into the address bar and hit enter. This will then Submit the same request and load it into your browser. To integrate these API requests into Python code, we will show you that now. Open your code editor of choice and create an empty Python file. For example, in this code right here, we have importing JSON since we're using the JSON format in the API response. The request library to communicate with our API server, and we have pandas to put the data into a table data format. First, we want to put in the URL request that we copied previously and paste it into the request URL slot. Then the request library imports the URL link here. We want to verify our SSL. We want to set a timeout of 30 seconds to then kill the request if it takes longer than that. We're going to load the contents of, of the response using JSON loads to have it in Python, a Python dictionary. We're going to want to subset to the parameter data information sec section of the API. Then we're going to need to fix the time index to match the daily time structure. All that's done relatively quickly in Python, and you can see the data print out below once you run the script. You can see the temperature at two meters and the all sky surface shortwave down data values in their associated time slot. We can also do the same thing in a Jupyter notebook. The Jupyter notebook consists of the same steps, but you can paste the URL here as well. And you can run the entire script. And there's your data as well, and you're ready to do any operations on this. So 
So if you need more information on how to access data via the API in different programming languages, you can navigate to the Power documentation pages, power.lark.nasa.gov slash docs. Inside of the data services, we have a section for the API with all the information that you could need to build your own requests and access the data very efficiently from Power. Thank you very much for your time.